Toyota cars in the United States refuse to be authorized by the California Highway Patrol Unit. American drivers just hate the vehicle's awkward performance. The company was almost humiliated with only 288 vehicles were sold during their first year of operation. Their $1 million capital reserve had been burning out and they were seeking financial help from the Japanese government. Seems to be that everything was going wrong with Toyota USA. And yes, you're right. It's never been an easy win for them. Anyhow, following their founder's 5 core principles, they started to implement few drastic changes. Soon, Toyota USA was going to shock the American car makers as they were going to pay the ultimate price for ignoring these Japanese vehicle manufacturers. So, what drives Toyota this far, surpassing all the known automobile giants that were born in the United States? But for you to understand the story of the rise of Toyota USA, we will travel all the way back to Tokyo in the 1920s. Back in Japan, Kachiro Toyota was stuck in Tokyo after the massive Great Kanto earthquake which took place on 1st September 1923. This affected the country's railway system, their major transportation network at the time. However, this disastrous event was a stepping stone for Kachiro, actually inspiring him to enter the automobile industry. He was determined to immediately work on gasoline-powered engines, even though General Motors, Ford and Chevrolet were already progressing with similar technology. Kichiro Toyota was born in the small Japanese village of Yamaguchi on 11th of June 1894. His father, Sakichi Toyota, was the founder of Toyota Boshoku Company. He was a prominent Japanese industrial figure who invented weaving devices and wooden handlooms. During his early ages, young Kichiro started to show his passion towards inventing power looms and automation devices. Once he graduated from mechanical engineering studies at Imperial University Tokyo in 1920, he enrolled in law faculty for a while. He then joined his father's company, Toyota Boshoku, as an engineer. Kichiro was almost successful in introducing his new gasoline automobile engine in 1930, but his father's sudden demise devastated his progress. After a while, he hired a team of engineers from General Motors and Chevrolet to pattern the layout of the Model A. In May 1935, they successfully prototyped the Model A1. He was very excited with that early development and asked his production teams to immediately start working on the G1 truck design before setting out to manufacture 200 vehicles. Toyota Motor Company was officially founded in 1936 after Kichiro Toyota removed the middle letter D from his family name and replaced it with T as a new emblem because Toyota was considered to bring more prosperity according to Japanese tradition. Unfortunately, during the World War II period, production was focused on manufacturing G1 military trucks. Once the war ended, the Japanese economy was in bad shape. Toyota Motor Company was almost bankrupt. Are you aware that the Korean War that took place on 25th of June 1950 saved the company? It actually provided a new opportunity for them after the United States Armed Forces ordered around 5,000 trucks to be manufactured immediately by Toyota. It was a $100 million profitable deal according to today's valuation. The company also gained a good reputation from the US military for their durable and tough quality vehicles. During the end of October 1956, they started to manufacture 5,000 units of the Toyopet Crown model at Toyota's production site in Aichi, Japan. Meanwhile, managing director Seishi Kato, accompanied by two salesmen from Toyota Sales Corporation, went to the United States to establish a new dealership team there. Kichiro Toyota was stunned with the advancement of automobile motor engines during his tour around American cities in the 1920s. It was his long-term wish to see his motor company have a strong presence in the United States. However, he never got the chance to see his company's achievement before he passed away on 27th March 1952. Meanwhile, the Toyota Motor Company had established their Californian registered enterprise, Toyota Motor Sales USA, on 31st October 1957, beginning a new journey to penetrate the American vehicle segment with an initial investment of $1 million. 
the company leased a building beside the Ford dealership at 6032 Hollywood Boulevard, which served as their sales office and headquarters. Actually, Toyota's best-selling models at the time in Japan were the Toyopet Crown, the Crown Deluxe, which were displayed at the showroom for test drives to compete with the American automobile trade. These cars were built tough, reliable, and not easily broken down. There was a huge potential of demand for smaller and fuel-efficient vehicles in the USA. Back in 1958, Toyota Motor Sales USA introduced Toyota Motor Distributors as their marketing division and reached an agreement with a service motor company known as Surfco Pacific Incorporated to distribute Toyota vehicles in Hawaii. It seemed everything was going smoothly for these Japanese car makers here. Then, the California Highway Patrol Authority refused to approve the automobile certificates for the Toyota Pet Crown because the headlights were not compliant with the local standard procedures as they were not equipped with sealed beam lamps. So, Toyota Motor Sales USA came up quickly with a temporary solution to import the first batch of 30 Toyota Pet vehicles without headlamps during 1958. The lights would be manufactured and fixed by General Electric on mainland USA. In that same year, a new sister company, Hollywood Toyota, was founded to investigate American automobile retail operations, dealerships, and look into things that automobile regulations after realizing that they had entered the business without any knowledge. Despite the Toyota Pet series being very durable and a great success in Japan, these models were not built for American drivers, who encountered a lot of problems like underpower issues, struggles to keep up with speed, and the price tag, which was $1,999, which was overpriced, as it was equivalent to the annual salary of 68% of the Americans at the time. The Toyota Pet Crown was a huge failure and only managed to sell 287 units along with one Land Cruiser model towards the end of 1958. Toyota Motor Sales USA decided to suspend importing the Crown models until a better, improved design was introduced by Toyota Japan. Meanwhile, the Toyota management team at Honsha Manufacturing Facilities in Aichi, Japan had started to freak out once Toyota Motor Sales USA seized the shipment of these Crown models. So, in response, they engineered an improved and upgraded version of these cars in 1960. During the same period, car sales in the US had reached 7.9 million units annually, a significant increase after the 1958 Great Recession. Sadly, Toyota Motor Sales USA had still not achieved 1% of the total market. The big three automaker giants included General Motors, Ford, and Chrysler. They monopolized the overall American automobile industry. Their production was concentrated on the big, powerful muscle cars, which are still considered very expensive and fuel inefficient. By the way, Toyota Motor Sales USA had discontinued the sales of the Toyota Ped models in 1961. At the same time, the demand for midsize and compact cars had boomed all over the United States. General Motors and Ford Motor Company were racing each other to conquer this segment by introducing a few models like the Oldsmobile F85, Pontiac Tempest, and the Falcon, which led to a sharp decrease in imported car sales. Toyota USA's year-end accumulated losses were $1.4 million, even though they secured an extra loan of $2 million from Japan. In response, they took a few drastic measures, cutting off their workforce from 57 to 37 personnel, reducing their sales office and slashing other unnecessary expenses in 1961. Unexpectedly, after the management was restructured, the improved version of the Land Cruiser F40 series quickly gained attention from American consumers as a favorite all-terrain vehicle built perfectly to serve their adventurous lifestyle. The sales increased from 249 units at the end of 1961 to 2,545 units in 1964, which is more than 10 times of growth within four years. Toyota Sales USA had established around 125 dealerships throughout this period, and they also got an extra loan of half a million dollars approved from Japan. Meanwhile, Toyota Motor Corporation Japan had flawlessly engineered a perfect Toyota Corona series specifically for American drivers 
drivers on the highway. The first model of these cars arrived in the United States in April 1965. The car was a phenomenal success, selling more than 20,000 units within a year, becoming an instant rival for American automakers. Toyota Corona sold like hotcakes among America's middle-class baby boomers. With a cost of just $1,100 for the basic trim level series, the design was so aerodynamic, comfy and easy to handle that it attracted many lady drivers to buy one of these models. During 1967, Toyota Motor Sales USA moved to their new 2 million square foot headquarters in Torrance, California. After a while, Toyota became the third best-selling import car brand in the United States, while BMW and Volkswagen were still unbeatable. The same year, Toyota opened a sales representative office in New York. Although Toyota had established 606 dealers nationwide, they still faced extreme difficulties looking for a reliable dealer throughout the southeast region of the United States. Finally, an American car dealership businessman, Jim Morin, signed an agreement with Toyota Motor Sales USA in 1968. The company, known as Southeast Toyota Distributors, will take care of sales around Florida, Georgia, Alabama, North and South Carolina. Their sales skyrocketed after they launched the new Corolla series, which almost killed a few of the top models at the time, like Ford Falcon, Chevy Buick, and Pontiac GTO. Toyota Corolla was introduced in two models, coupe and wagon, with a price ranging from $1,380 to $3,850. The popularity of the Corolla was the ultimate reason for Toyota's early momentum, selling more than 100,000 of these models in the US within a single year. The shipment of the Toyota cars to the United States continued to increase, surpassing 216,000 units by the end of 1970. Midsize vehicles evolution sparked by Toyota was a big blow for General Motors, Ford and Chrysler, which were known as the Big Three, even though they monopolized 78% of the car markets in the USA. Thus, the Big Three began revving up their efforts to manufacture midsize sedan cars. Toyota Motor Sales USA quickly shifted their attention into the production of small pickup trucks. They signed an agreement with Atlas Fabrication for manufacturing the rear part of the Toyota Hilux in 1971. And after three years, the company was bought over by Toyota USA, setting up their first manufacturing site investment inside the United States. Then, the energy crisis hit all over the USA in 1973 after the oil and petroleum exporting countries, OPEC, refused to sell crude oil, resulting in the oil prices going crazy and the sales of motor vehicles plummeting to around 35%, with just 8.85 million vehicles sold that year inside the United States. Toyota's effort to produce fuel-efficient vehicles enabled them to still prosper even during the tough times, with an accumulation of more than 1,014 dealers signing up to sell their cars by September 1976. The Toyota Celica models that were added to the United States markets in 1971 served as a vital role together with their previous big brothers, the Corolla and the Corona series, in the growth of Toyota's sales. They sold 400,000 cars in 1977. Meanwhile, they even surpassed Volkswagen to become the number one imported car brand in the same year. Throughout the mid of 1980 until 1990, Toyota Motor Sales USA focused on diversification of their multiple corporate entities inside the United States. But the most notable one was their joint venture with General Motors to establish National United Motor Manufacturing Incorporated in Fremont, California. Then, Toyota USA sold 1 million cars in a single year during 1986, while the white Corolla FX16 was the first car to be fully manufactured inside the United States. They also began to produce their pickup trucks inside these facilities to avoid 25% chicken tax to the US federal government. Lexus was introduced in 1989 by Toyota as a second marketing luxury car segment. The initial first two models, LS400 and ES250, were very successful, selling 63,594 cars within a single year of its launch. Throughout the 1990s, Toyota Motor Sales USA systematically triggered a $10 billion investment spree to expand their production facilities. In response, they purchased Bodine Aluminium, which was later renamed as Toyota Motor Manufacturing Missouri and Toyota Motor Manufacturing Tennessee to produce forged aluminium engine components. 
In 1993, 12,000 acres of Toyota's Technical Center Arizona Proving Ground Facility, TAPG, in Whitman, Arizona was opened. The Toyota Motor Manufacturing Indiana Assembly Unit in Princeton, Indiana, and the Toyota Motor Manufacturing West Virginia opened in 1996. They did this before they signed another agreement with General Motors to collaborate in the research and development of advanced environmental technologies in 1999. Meanwhile, during this busy period, Toyota Motor Sales USA sold its 20 millionth vehicle inside the United States in 1996, a remarkable achievement for them. The same year, they established Toyota Motor Manufacturing North America Incorporated, focusing on the Canada and Mexico automotive markets as well. Toyota Camry became the number one selling car in the US in 1997. One year later, Toyota Tundra and the world's first hybrid model, the Prius, were introduced. Approaching the millennium, Toyota Motor Sales USA gained reputation with Lexus. When recognized as the number one selling luxury car brand in the United States, taking over Dodge automakers to become the third best selling passenger vehicle manufacturer nationwide in 2001, and they sold more than 1.7 million cars in a single year. Throughout 2000 to 2010, Toyota Motor Sales USA sold over 16 million cars, surpassing Chevrolet. The Toyota Camry continues to dominate the position as the number one selling model in the United States for the 11th time within 12 years. American automakers were horribly hit during the 2007 economic recession period. Their estimated sales of new vehicles shrank by $107 billion. That's around 40% of their total sales. The largest automaker in the United States, General Motors, suffered $40 billion in loss, while Toyota Motor Sales USA's demand for their vehicles decreased by 6.1%. Once the recession period was revived in 2009, both General Motors and Toyota Motor Sales USA decided to cease operations of their production at the National United Motor Manufacturing Incorporated in Fremont due to financial issues. The notable joint venture that was established in the mid-1980s met a dead end after 25 years, affecting 5,000 of their employees, which later Toyota Motor Sales USA paid an average of $54,000 as retrenchment benefits to 82% of their workers. Tesla had taken over the 210 acres of this manufacturing site in 2010, renaming it Tesla Fremont Factory to build their electric vehicles. Meanwhile, the Department of Justice found that Toyota Motor Sales USA had hidden their car's safety matters from the public, and after four long years of investigation, they were fined $1.4 billion. Toyota USA had recalled over 10 million vehicles to inspect the unexpected acceleration problems. The company lost more than 80,000 of their new car sales due to this situation in 2010. The global economic war between the United States and China to dominate the semiconductor supply chain had hit Toyota Motor North America terribly. While they were not able to keep up their pace to manufacture vehicles and spare parts, they reported a sales decrease of 9.6% in November 2020 compared to the previous year. They also notified more than 460,000 vehicle owners to fix software inconsistency issues that same year. The rise of fully electric cars revolutionized by Tesla since 2010 seems to have threatened the dominance of Toyota Motor Sales USA's hybrid series in the United States. Many American automobile owners at the time were swiftly influenced to buy Tesla's models due to the hype that an electric vehicle without a conventional engine could be cost efficient. By the end of 2015, all other American automakers like General Motors, Chevrolet and Ford also started to progress in similar technology. Toyota has been a pioneer in the development of hybrid vehicles, which have sold more than 3.2 million cars since the early millennium. The Toyota Prius, Camry, and RAV4 were major contributors for their sales. The company is known for heavily investing in research and development programs since 2005. They've allocated $1 billion of fund through their Technical Research Institute in California. 
Soon they discovered hydrogen fuel cells as an alternative to battery-powered electric cars. Toyota Mirai will be the first model to use this technology. Apart from that, in May 2022, Toyota Motor Sales USA launched the new flagship BZ4X, a fully battery-powered electric SUV in the United States, which they had resisted for many years. Toyota USA's key success factors were their dedication of hard work, staying competitive and innovative for the past 66 years. The company's ambition to take over General Motors' crown as the number one American automaker was realized at the end of 2021, upsetting the unbeaten record of 90 years with a sale of 2.332 million vehicles. The brand Toyota itself is becoming very native to the Americans. Still today, the company is thriving to manufacture vehicles that are reliable, efficient, with top-notch safety features. Meanwhile, they are set to introduce futuristic electric vehicles that could travel up to 1,000 kilometers with a single charge by 2026. It clearly seems that Toyota Motor Sales USA has come this far to achieve their vision of being the most successful and respected car company in America, dominating around 14% of the market share, competing fiercely with General Motors, Ford Motor Company and Stellantis Corporation.